Am I vlogging? I think I'm vlogging. I think we're back at it. So let's get at it. I am back vlogging. How are you guys doing? I just got back from Nigeria. I got these braids. These braids are busting. I don't know if my Nigeria vlog would have come out before I upload this vlog but i vlogged it it was a great trip it's my first time being back in nine years it was my kids and my husband's first time would not be the last it was a great trip i am back and i am just trying to reset my life trying to do the things and get back into my routine right now i have a business meeting as you guys know i do event planning and decor so i am helping set up a flower wall for a salon that's opening in town and also would work on their opening i had done it for free for an organization a charity organization and i sit on the board for the organization and it was great but i just wasn't getting any feedback or interest from people generally or they will like it but they just don't want to pay so i am glad that i'm able to do this and maybe gain some more popularity from this and have people see the value that i provide with regards to that and then i can stack up my coin and also just improve my craft so i have ideas out of this world and i just want to execute them and make sure that people have a good time and the event is up to par you dress well you eat well you live well you should also decor well if you know what i'm saying so and if you throw an event it's worth it if you go the extra mile just so your friends and family who are either getting a babysitter just so they can make it to your event or making changes in your life just so they can attend your event have a good old time so that's where I come in and I'm hopeful that I can relaunch this business and keep it moving from here. I have baby boy with me because I have 45 minutes to handle the meeting with him and then um, go take him for his music class. I just dropped Liara off at her music class. So I figured I'll vlog with you guys and just share with you what I'm going through. I'm all about intimate events so I'm not really for weddings or things like that but I can bust down and throw down an intimate event. You know, I have ideas. I do hope to film some videos this week and also just get back in my fitness routine, you know, Zumba, Orange Theory if I can, and um, basically cardio. And I do have some new recipes that I've been brewing, so I would like to share them with you guys. Maybe we'll do a little cook with me in this video. We'll see. Let me know what you guys like to see in my vlogs and I will go ahead and get started, okay? I missed you guys. I'm glad to be back stateside i have my coffee and oh these nails are atrocious so yeah i am gonna look at this look at this mess so yeah i am gonna get my nails did and the question is will she get a different color not just red this time we'll see remains to be seen we shall see. so that was a good meeting super productive i am scheduled to do the install next week and then he may let me know if he wants to do um like floating candles floating votive candles in a vase and then uh, we're gonna decide between a champagne tower and a champagne wall so i'm excited about that listen when i started this business i just i was so excited about the possibility of you know just adding such of luxury to events and stuff like that because i didn't see any here as you know i'm in a small town in suburbia and um, everyone's kind of like stuck in their ways and they like what they like. But when they see nice things, they do appreciate it. So I was like, okay, why don't I go ahead and start this business? Because I did a fantastic job before I do say so myself. It's time for baby boys music class. I'm not sure when I'm going to come back here, but I'll be back. Music time, music time. Music time, music time. Go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Did you make all the green? You mixed it all? Yeah. Would you like to add white? 
Yeah. How about you mix a little bit of the green and white, not all of it? What do you think? Baby, what's that? What do you find? Is that a dinosaur bone? Dinosaur bone. Just like the dinosaurs you have in your pants. Okay, let's dig, dig. Dig, dig. I figured I will take a break from vlogging in the car because it seems as though I'm always talking in the car. I'm just sure because when I talk at home, there's either music playing in the background or my kids are in the background and they're having their conversation or they're trying to have a conversation with me while I'm trying to have a conversation with you and it just gets crazy. So I just got done with the gym. I did my little Zumba, which was nice. They've changed the name to like Pop Fitness now, um, I guess. They've been incorporating a lot of pop songs and a lot of people are loving it and coming back. So traditional Zumba is not like every day, it's like on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And then we have Zumba toning, where the toning sticks on Wednesdays and then pop fitness on Monday, Thursday. I don't care, as far as I'm here, I'm dancing, I feel good, I feel great, I'm fine with it. So I am going to get my nails done. I know you feel like you, I do the same stuff on every vlog and it's because it's my life. You guys. I'm sharing my life, there's nothing special. I'm not gonna go bungee jumping tomorrow or you know, do something crazy extraordinary. But anyway, I'm gonna get my nails done and then um, catch up on work, film some videos, and probably won't really check in with you guys until much later in the week because I have a lot of work to do. And um, I have a board of directors meeting this week coming. I also have a settlement agreement that I need to get out review an employee handbook and do two more memorandums for work. So that being said, I am so focused on work and I'm just trying to get that done. And then I have that event that I'm working on this week. I am probably gonna set up the flower wall on Thursday. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Anytime I have any free time, I will be editing my videos because I wanna get some of the videos out. I also have some collaborations coming up that should be fun just in time for spring. So yeah, anyway, done with the gym bit. This is my little Nike hairband that I love. It helps keep my edges down because, you know. And I feel like Sonya Ross when she was like doing the Olympics because you see this? It is so long, like trying to dance with this has been like so fun. But anyway, all right, I digress. I will catch you guys later. Just another morning with deer in my backyard. They are huge. Look at them. There were like five of them this morning. But what are those? Those are deer. Oh, they Big so deers.
affirmations. I am beautiful. I can hear you. I am beautiful. I am wonderful. I am loved. Leora is super. Okay, someone's playing with you and touching you and kicking you and you don't like it, you tell them. Stop, I don't like that. That's right. What would you like to eat when you get home? Would you like some raspberries? Would you like some chicken? You like some rice? Okay, so we're gonna have raspberry chicken and rice. You want some eggs? You're gonna have raspberry chicken, rice, and eggs? You gonna eat it all? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Okay, Tig. Let's go. Are you gonna have fun today? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. So you're saying that, that you know that there is no other practices that will like provide welcome, support. Yeah, like welcome you in and like help you like work. Have you ever been given cultural competence training in your field or have you ever provided training to others in your field to like you know, like say, hey, this is how you do this for people who are not used to the way that you do things and are used to doing it differently. That's a very interesting question. So, the answer is a potential maybe to the latter of your question. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am, um, mm -hmm. and so, actually, do you have any like ritual celebrations that are specific to your cultural that are like like your hair? You have your box plates and then would you consider that a ritual? Like taking care of your hair? Well, <laughs> to an extent, yes. Not just taking care of box plates, but I mean, your hair is focused on the hair and the comes very natural to me. Um, comes very natural from a place of self-care, self-love. Um, getting your hair done in Nigeria is extremely cheap. I got this done for the people in the twenty years and they came to my house. I get this hair done in the US for like four hundred dollars. Yeah. My sister. So there is that, but there's a sacredness that comes with the hair. Your hair should crown. You switch out our hair as often as we can. From box braids to condoms to afros to perms to wigs to weaves. That's the versatility of the hair. She said you use Shea. Yeah, S-H-E-A. That is from
going to a board meeting and I'm singing old school hip hop. Like, are you kidding me? That Naughty by Nature, T-Pain and Mike Jones, hits, hits, greatest hits. All right, that's too up close to the camera. I'm already late. Joe's by four minutes, it's fine. Just pulled up to board of directors meeting. I have told you guys I am on the board of a charitable organization for the kids for the little chillances so headed there now i've had a full day yo i am so tired so tired oh lord jesus give me a shot of caffeine did you eat food yeah you had school lunch yeah what did you eat um a I do this thing where I make sure I get a cup of hot tea in the morning when I'm trying to go drop my daughter off at school. I feel like I need to have this cup of tea. It's absolutely important for me to have this cup of tea. And then I spend three minutes brewing it, you know, like getting the water ready, getting the cup ready, while also trying to get the kids ready. And then it's a five minute drive from my house to my kid's school. And I don't even pick up the cup one time. Literally, sometimes I don't even take a sip of this cup of this tea till like 11 o'clock. So I'm like, why am I rushing to make the cup of tea at 7.15? But every morning, I religiously do it and I feel like I have to do it. How are you guys doing? I just did drop off. Now I'm heading home. I'm going to get baby boy ready. I'm going to take him to his music class. And I have a very busy day today. I had a board meeting last night, so I need to work on some projects that was allocated to me. I would like to send out my settlement agreement, also send out some other policies that I'm working on because I like to spend Thursday and Friday prepping for other things that I have to do. Today's Wednesday. Thursday, I have a facial. Friday, I'm supposed to have my lashes done, but I think I'm just gonna pass on the lashes and just wait probably next week because we're going to Mexico the week after. So maybe I'll do that instead. Um, that way I have a fresh set of lashes before I travel. Or should I do the lashes now? And then, I don't know, try to refill? I don't know, I don't think I have the time problem is on Friday I have free childcare. If I don't do it on Friday, the next time I do it I'll have to pay for childcare, potentially. So there is that. Thinking about that, trying to figure out what to do. And then on Thursday we're in, we are putting, setting up the flower wall for the event. So I need to clear up my schedule for that. I have a facial on Thursday. The kids have music and art class on Thursday and Friday. So it's going to be a busy, busy, busy day. The Saturday hubby is going out of town for a day and a half. So I'll be holding it down all day saturday i have a babysitter lined up for saturday evening because that's when the party is so I figured i'll come on here and say hi all righty even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway, and in the driveway is a nice. So yeah, what's going on? So remember the contract you looked at that time, right? Yeah. And I told the CMO, I said, Well, you an R are you an RVU? I'm RVU based, exactly. Okay, okay. I, I want you to, please, I don't know if you can help me interpret this. You know what that is? Do you provide that in writing? Please, you're a troll. You want to slash my salary. This is not what we discussed. Right. Okay. Now, when does new company take over? Did they enter yeah. a new agreement with you? Did you sign a new employment agreement with them? It's not uncommon sometimes for doctors to lose a part of their practice if they go on vacation or if they take disability leave or even if they go on a conference. So that's where things can get tricky with situations so like that. The what is this, is this in a if they close down the office and they offer you... 
yeah but they offered you a, they offered you a, re, a new location right and you are that yes. location the prerogative will then be on you to ask them to provide demographic information showing that the new location that they put you in will yield you the same results in terms of productivity compared to the old location because if in the old location you were seeing 100 patients a day and now in the new location you're seeing 20 patients a day the onus is not on you to produce a disparity between 180. you're not going to be making that much money for the hospital for the practice group if you're only seeing 20. and if only seeing 20 by virtue of the location of the hospital of the clinic then there's nothing you can do about that that's not your fault. That calls in for a new salary renegotiation where they may pay you a combination of RVU and salary or they pay you strict salary, but they cannot then hold you to the same standard as they were holding you at a prior location that was, for lack of a better word, flowing with milk and honey, if you know what I mean.